It says in verse 17, Luke chapter 5, And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that's Jesus, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee, in Judea, in Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And it's still present today. It says, And behold, men brought in a bed, a man which was taken with a palsy. Look at this. And they sought means to bring him in. What are we talking about? The all means mentality. They're yeah. seeking means to bring him in. It says, And to lay him before him. Verse 19, And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they quit. No. When they, when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went home. They tried again tomorrow. They gave up. No, it says, look, they went upon the housetop. Yeah. That's the all means mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these. These are soul winners right here, right? right. They're bringing this guy to Jesus. Yeah. That's what this is picturing here. It says they went upon the housetop. They bared this man's infir infirmity. They carried him up upon the housetop. It says, and let him down through the tiling with his couch into the midst before Jesus. And look at this. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, man, thy sins are forgiven thee. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, What reason ye in your hearts? Whether is easier to, to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Rise up and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins, he said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise and take up thy couch and go into thine house. And he immediately he arose up before them and took that whereon he lay and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed and they glorified God and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things this day. So here we see a group of soul winners, a group of men with an intent to bring a man to Jesus. They want to bring this guy to Jesus to get him saved, to get him healed. What is that picture? That picture of soul winning. And what happens? They meet opposition. It says they couldn't find a way in by reason of the multitude. But they didn't stop. They didn't quit. They didn't say, oh, let's try again tomorrow when there's less people. They went upon the house stop. There's a crowded house. There's no way in. The front door's blocked. There's a gate. You know, the gate has a no soliciting sign. There's a dog, there's a dog barking, right? But they say, okay, let's go on the house stop. I love that. That's awesome. That's the mentality we need to have, especially as men. Men today, you know, you see a no soliciting sign. It's like, oh, should we knock this door? It's like, be a man, you know? Be willing to climb upon the house top. Be a warrior. You see the guys in the Old Testament like Joshua or uh, Jonathan and his armor bearer. They just had this mentality like, let's go fight. Let's get into trouble. Let's find someone to fight. Let's start something. Let's start a fire. That's how we need to be. Let's go upon the housetop. That's good. But that right there is the all means mentality. We're going to get this guy to Jesus no matter what. It says they sought means to bring him in. All means. Now, I guarantee you, this made a lot of people mad. It got a lot of people pissed off. I mean, they're climbing upon some guy's house, I assume, and they're taking apart the tiling or the hay or whatever this house was made of. That probably got a lot of people upset. Yeah. The police were probably called at that time, right? <laughs> it's destruction of property. You know, a pastor friend of mine said this once, and I like this. He said, there's usually two outcomes when the gospel is preached. People get mad and people get saved. Yes. And that's always the way it's been. That's right. And that's yeah. always the way it will be. Right. You're going to get some people angry, but hey, that guy got healed. It was worth it. That's right. right? In the process of pe getting people saved, you're going to have to get some people mad. Now, this story gets me excited because this is the type of soul winner I want to be. Amen. You want to affect the world like Paul, you need to have the same mentality Paul had. He was willing to do whatever it takes to bring people to Jesus.